Welcome. Our topic coverage in this review questions is all about data analytics for local treasury, specifically in tax analysis. Number 1. What is the standard period for the assessment of local taxes, fees, or charges? A. 3 years from the date they become due. B. 5 years from the date they become due. C. 10 years from the date they become due. D. 7 years from the date they become due. Answer, B. The local taxes, fees, or charges should be assessed within five years from the date they become due. Number 2, in case of fraud or intent to evade payment, within what period can taxes, fees, or charges be assessed? A. Three years from discovery of the fraud. B. Five years from discovery of the fraud. C. 10 years from discovery of the fraud. D. 7 years from discovery of the fraud. Answer, C. In cases of fraud or intent to evade payment, the taxes, fees, or charges can be assessed within 10 years from the discovery of the fraud. Number 3, Franco Repackers involved in a business of repacking and has total annual gross sales for the preceding year 2022 amounted to 750000 How much should Franco pay if he wishes to pay his business tax due in January 2023? A. 8000 B. 10000 C. 13750 D. 16500 Answer, B, referring to the business tax schedule for repackers, the gross sales of 750,000 falls under the bracket 750,000 or more but less than 1 million, therefore, the business tax for 2023 is 10,000. Number 4, Popole Store a retailer has made gross sales of 350000 in a year. What is the total business tax amount they need to pay? A. 3500 B. 2500 C. 1750 D. 7000 Answer, D, a rate of 2% per annum is imposed on sales not exceeding 400,000. Since the retailer's sales are below 400,000, the tax rate applicable to them is 2% per annum. Therefore, the tax amount they need to pay is 350,000 multiplied by 2% equals 7,000. Number 5, one one Store a retailer has made gross sales of 25000 in a year. What is the total business tax amount they need to pay to the municipality? A. 500 B. 250 C. 100 D. Nil Answer, D. Not the municipality, but Baranavis have the exclusive power to levy taxes on gross sales or receipts of 30,000 or less. Since Wan Wan Store's gross sales amount to 25,000, it falls within this threshold. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment your questions and clarifications below. For the continuation of this video, Please see the link in the comment section.